Hi everyone, Rob Harris here. Thanks for joining me. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to play I Want Your Love by um, Nile Rodgers and Sheik. Because of this, I've had a few people writing in asking if I could teach them how to play the song Thinking of You by Sister Sledge. Now, um, this is a song I've been playing for very, very many years uh, because I'm a massive Nile Rodgers fan. And I was lucky enough to actually tour with Sister Sledge for, for quite some time, a couple, couple of years anyway, um, doing lots of shows. So I got to play this song every night. And what I will say is, um, having never really studied what Niall did, I've just got my own version of how he did it. Um, I was taught it at a very early guitar lesson when I was young, um, but I've, since over the years, I just kind of do my own thing. So it might not be completely accurate to what Niall did, um, but you, you'll have heard in the intro video, that's kind of how I play it. So um, I'm just going to break down the two sections. There's only really two sections to this song. There's a verse part and then a chorus part. Now, um, the changes for the song are quite simple. It's uh, G minor seven, uh, a D minor seven, and then a C minor seven, and then a B flat with a, with a third in the bass. Okay, so the chord shapes are very similar. So you've got your G minor seven there, and then the, the, the last three chord shapes are all the same shape. He, he's very sort of clever at sort of keeping the shapes the same. Now, we'll start with the G minor seven to get the, the opening um, part of the, uh, the verse pattern. So how I do that is I'm playing, I'm barring my first finger on the 10th fret of the A, A, D, G, B and E strings. And then I hammer on my second and third fingers to the shape of the G minor seven. So that's my second finger hammering onto the 11th fret of the B and my third finger hammering onto the 12th fret of the D string. So that's what's given me my um, G minor seven. So I'm just striking the strings and then hammering on, have a listen, like that. And then, uh, so it's just a downstroke. And then my fourth finger, when, when the chord is pressed down like that, my fourth finger goes out to the 13th fret of the high E string. And then I just do an upstroke, kind of clipping the, the high E and the B strings, like that. Now, can you hear, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a muted, like that. Uh, I'm letting the chord off, and I'm strumming down to a muted, um, a muted sort of ghost note kind of thing. And then I do an upstroke, hitting the B and the E string, the high E and the B, uh, the high E and the B string. Okay. And then I take my fourth finger off to give me the G minor seven chord again. Okay, and the strumming for that is down, down, up, up. Okay, so that is a is a is a really important pattern, a strumming pattern for how the rest of this verse goes because then the next section goes. Okay, so when I'm going to the D minor seven chord, the second chord in the sequence, I'm not actually playing the full D minor seven. My first finger is staying barred on the five strings, the, the A, D, G, B, and E strings. And my first finger, really important here, is touching the E string to, to mute it. So that's the first chord, the G minor seven. Then I'm going to play strike again and then hammer on my third finger to the 12th fret of the A string. Okay. And then I'm doing the same thing, the same, the same mute. So I, I strike the strings, hammer on, and then immediately lift my finger away from the chord, giving me dead strings. Okay, like that. And then 
my third finger then goes to the D and G strings um, and bars, and then bars the 12th fret of the D and G, and then goes to the 10th fret on my first finger of the D and G. So I get this. So you can hear, I'm not hitting the, I'm not hitting all of the strings. I'm just, I'm concentrating on the, the middle strings of the guitar. So the A, D and uh, G string. Uh, so that's the first two chords. Then same shape here. I moved down to the eighth fret. Uh, and this time, all I'm doing is going. So my first finger is barring the eighth, the eighth fret of the five strings. I hammer on my third finger to the tenth fret of the A. And then I'm um, playing the D and G string on the, uh, the eighth fret, just barring my, with my first finger. And then I slide all the way down to the uh, the first the, the third fret, my first finger on the third fret. This is for the B flat chord with the third in the bass. Strike the chord and hammer on the third, the, the root note, um, which is the D note um, for the B flat chord. So really slowly I get this three, four. So that is the sequence. That's what the verse sequence does. Um, there are a few little things that Niall did, I think he did, or I definitely do, um, in the middle of these, you know, to, to help the sequence move around a bit. So if I play it, I'll show you what I mean. Two, three, four. Like that. Which is a very sort of common thing that Nile Nile Rogers does. Um, what I'm doing there is I'm sort of barring my first finger as barring really here. Um, it's just barring to give my fourth finger a bit of support and mute the strings. Um, and all I'm doing is I'm very lightly touching the fifth fret of the E, and then going to the sixth fret of the E with my fourth finger. So if I play that in sequence, three, four. Okay. And then another one that he does as a, as a little turnaround is he does this little thing. Uh, that one. So if I play that through in the whole sequence, three, four. Now, all that is, is... My first finger is barring the, the third fret of the D and the G strings, and I'm playing the fifth fret of the G with my um, fourth finger, and I do down up, and then take my fourth finger off and just play the D and the G strings here. Now, I'm doing a lot of muting. There's a lot of left hand muting going on in this track. so. If I, if I show you the points that are really important, like there, you can hear, um, if, I, if I wasn't muting, the guitar would sound like this. You'd have all this sort of ringing noise coming from the guitar. So my, my first finger is staying very close to the strings to keep everything clean. And then here, there, I'm, I'm playing the two, two strings, really. So, yeah, even there, I, I'm still making noise when I, when I don't want it. So you can see how my hand is wrapped around the whole neck just to keep everything quiet. So my thumb is touching the low E string. It's really common in this style of playing. I'm hitting all the strings, or most of the strings. And, and that sound of the strings being hit, um, along with the muting, uh, along with the notes, I mean, adds to the sound. It's the it's adds to the sound of 
um, the funkiness of it, it just adds to the texture of the of the, the the guitar tone because you're getting notes and muted notes at the same time. So it just thickens up the sound a bit. So same thing there. And you can see my hand is really bouncing on the strings to keep things clean. And then like that. Um, so that's the verse part. There is a turnaround just before the chorus where it goes uh, D minor, C minor. Um, it's a C minor seven, which I play like this. Um, uh, I don't know if he does it like this, but this is how I play it. I play rather than playing it a full C minor seven chord where my fir first finger is barring. I play um, my third finger bars the D string D G B and E, and my second finger plays the root note of a of a C minor seven chord. So, which the reason I do that is because it's very easy for the next chord shape because the next chord shape is F9. So, just moving my fingers down, I can play that F9 chord, and then a B a B flat major seven, um, which is fretted. For those those who don't know, first finger on the sixth fret of the E, third finger on the seventh fret of the D. Fourth finger on the seventh fret of the G, and second finger on the sixth fret of the B. So, now what that does is that takes us into the chorus section. And this is probably where I kind of really heard that sliding into chords thing that Noel did um, and sort of brought that into my own playing. So um, it goes E major, E flat major seven, which is, you know, uh, if you don't know the chord shape, it's basically going E flat major seven, B flat major seven, E flat major seven, B flat major seven, but with a different voicing. So I'll explain what that is. The E flat major seven voicing is first finger barring the sixth fret of the uh, A D the, the five strings, missing out the root note, missing out the E string, and then you've got your third finger on the eighth fret of the D, your second finger on the seventh fret of the G, and your fourth finger on the eighth fret of the B. And what you do is you you slide in. So you start all of that chord shape that I just told you about. You you move down a fret, strike the chord, and slide into it. And it's like a down up. Like that. And then what I'm doing is I'm sliding into the B flat major chord. But you start it down a fret below and slide in. So you strike the chord a fret below, move down to the fifth fret and slide up like that. Um, so that's E flat major seven, B flat major seven, E flat major seven. And then what we do is we're playing a, a different inversion of a B flat major seven here, which is we're doing the same thing. We're sliding in, but the chord itself is how I play it anyway, is first fret on the eighth fret of the D and fourth finger is barring the 10th fret of the G, B and E strings like that. And I slide in from the fret below. Like that. So it's, it's actually quite simple. Um, not too many chord shapes. Uh, one thing, so when I first started playing this with the band, with uh, Sister Sledge, I sort of launched into the song and they were like, whoa, whoa, no, no, slow down, slow down. Because they played the song a lot slower than the recording, which was actually quite difficult, but it, it meant that um, I had to really concentrate. So it would be like this tempo, one, two, three,
yeah so um i hope you've enjoyed that i hope i hope you're uh, you can get your hands around that one uh just want to say thanks for watching if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get an alert every time i release a new video take care and see you soon